Good evening, everyone. How are you? My name is Nicole, better known as Dangerously Blessed. Um, I'm coming before you this evening to introduce myself and to talk about a very sensitive yet serious topic. Um, of course, as always, like, share, subscribe. Um, don't judge me. As far as this bright lipstick, I thought I'd try something different. I was bored. It is what it is. Hey, it's still a pandemic going on. And when you are a slight bit of an introvert, um, and you have a lot of makeup, stuff happens. So but it is what it is. Um, I'll probably do something a bit more different, maybe even drastic, who knows. But, um, anywho, so, this, I will not be doing blogs, vlogs, whatever you want to call it. On occasions, I may go live, but it will solely be to do a story time or possibly a podcast i highly doubt it mainly story times and none of my story times um i'm never going going to use the word alleged allegedly should i say because all of them are real but i will never use anyone's name and i'm gonna keep my promise to one person who said it would be a great idea for me to do this just don't tell any stories about them and don't worry, I won't, <laughs> not at all. So, 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 mm -mm -mm. Um, so, okay, this story time is stemming from what I've been seeing on YouTube, but it's my personal story. Um, I'm not going to mention any YouTubers or stars or celebrities names or anything like that but there's something floating there's something floating around and I will say this I commend the youtuber on doing a heck of a great job um now when it comes to this youtuber I like this youtuber I can only take them in small doses no shade nothing bad at all I promise on my son and everything that I love it's just that sometimes it's a bit too much and depending on the topic I may or may not watch it but I did watch this because I've seen it, it it's pretty much it's gone viral prior to this youtuber interview on this particular person but I'm not even going to comment or do or state my opinion when it comes to that interview and what the topic of it is when it comes to that person because I don't want any smoke don't get it twisted I'm far from a punk but I'm too old and I don't need the backlash that could potentially come my way so this is story time number one and I, I'm going to call this person, hmm, I'm going to call him Uncle Screw. I don't know why, random name, but Uncle Screw. Um, I've known Uncle Screw, not from birth, but for, I, I really don't know how long I've known him and his wife. Um, I'm going to call her Buki. I kid you not. So Uncle Screw and Buki. I, um, they were good friends with my mom and my dad. Um, actually Buki, I think introduced my parents, if I'm not mistaken, but neither here nor there. So just a little bit of a backstory. So they've probably known me literally since I was, you know, yay big. 
And I looked at them both as a second set of parents, so to speak. Um, they were cool. They spoiled me. I loved McDonald's. I loved chicken nuggets, strawberry milkshake, french fries. That was like my thing growing up for a good majority of my life. I actually still like it, but I really don't eat um, Mickey D's anymore. Not like talking about it. I still eat fast food, just not that. Um, but eat, neither here nor there. So fast forward. Um, of course, I grow up. I'm, a, I'm an ex-military brat. So I didn't get to see them, Uncle Screw and Buki, for quite some time. And we ended up, where did we, from Italy to Florida, Florida. Um, way, 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 way down south. Um, Homestead, Florida, to be exact. I don't think there's too much of Homestead, Florida left. I don't know. I know where we lived as far as the military housing. It is a cornfield or whatever. Um, they never rebuilt it um, with a section of base housing that we lived in. But again, neither here nor there. So at the time, this was before, not too long before Hurricane Andrew, if I am not mistaken. So I had to have been 11 or 12. 12, I think, or 13, some, somewhere between 11 and 13. Um, It's been many, 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 many moons and decades ago. <laughs> so one day, Uncle Screw is in, is in Florida. Um, I believe he was in the military or worked for the military or did something. That's part of the reason why um, he was there. And he came to stay at our house and I was excited. I'm like, yo, yo, Uncle Screw is here. We're going to have fun. I'm going to get my McDonald's, my chicken nuggets, french fries, yada, yada, yada. So I was so happy to see him. So, 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 so happy. Ecstatic even. Um, got to eat pizza and junk food, a bunch of snacks. Um... I believe, did I have to go to school? I don't think so. I think it may have been summertime. Um, but yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think what happened. I think he left, Uncle Screw left and I guess went somewhere. I don't remember where he went at all. Had no idea. Now, at the time, I had a little boyfriend. Um, I can say his name. I don't know where he is. At the time, he was my boyfriend. But hey, Charles. <laughs> I think him and his family moved back to where they're originally from, which is Maryland. I wouldn't know what he looks like to this day. We were so young. But we were out and, you know, summertime at night and you're on a closed in military base. And back then it was cool and safe to do so. We were out at night. Not that I could do it all the time, but I was out at night. I really, really was. Um, and again, chilling with my friends and everything. We were out on out on the corner. Not like that. <laughs> but we were out on the corner like it's, it, it was yeah the corner of our street just having fun kikiing it up or whatever um me i was hugged up with my little boyfriend um and it was so embarrassing <laughs> uncle screw comes driving down the street and turns and stops he didn't yell at me or anything and, um, but something told me to like semi turn around and look like I was like this, not that you can really see, um, but I, all right, I was hugged up, you know, with my boo, whatever he was tall. I like tall guys, tall, skinny guys. We'll get into that. That'll be some story times later. 
but I was hugged up with me, you know, my boo like this to whatever. Uncle Screw was behind me in the car. So something told me to turn around and I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> I don't think he didn't call me to the car or anything like that. Um, I ended up going home later. I was just like, let me gather my thoughts on what I'm going to say if he asks me anything, you know. So, cool. Boom. Um, and mind you, my parents were not home. Again, my dad, um, he was in the Navy. Um, he had duty. And then my mom worked. She was at work. She worked nights. Um, so, yeah, he was babysitting me and my brothers. I have two younger brothers. They look like the older brothers, but they're not. Anyway, so I end up going back home at, I, I couldn't tell you um, as far as the time. I don't think it was super late, but I think it was late. Um, so I go in the house and everything, and I think I had already eaten. Oh, I think he brought me some food. I, I, oh, like I said, I did, I think I did get like my, my, my usual McDonald's food or whatever. Um, and then I noticed there's a brown bag. Um, and little did I know it, it, I didn't know much about liquor at the time and it was liquor. But anyway, my brothers, I don't know where they were. They were in the house but they weren't in the living room where me and Uncle Screw was because I ended up in the living room, whatever. We were, I guess we were sitting down watching TV and whatnot, just chilling. And he said something about me being hugged up with my boyfriend. I'm like, oh gosh, here we go. And um, I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, uh, I ain't know what to say. And I, I think he caught me kissing him, the, the little boyfriend. Um, and he was like, give me a kiss. Okay. So I was like, okay, Uncle Screw. Nah, you know, like a parental parent thing or whatever. I didn't think nothing of it. Then he was like, nah. Kiss me like you kiss your boyfriend. Mm. 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 I don't think I made this the mm face, but I know I was just like, what? Or whatever. And he was like, kiss me like you kiss your boyfriend. I really didn't know what to do. It wasn't a turn on. It didn't excite me or nothing like that or whatever. I think I ended up kiss. I believe I did end up kissing him again. I didn't know what to do. And then. But I knew. I didn't know too much about alcohol, but I knew I know when a person's drunk or tipsy or whatever. So. I don't know if I went to the back to my room because how it's like when you walk in I guess it really doesn't matter what door you come to but when you walk in yeah when you walk into the front door it's the it's like a little mini hallway and then straight ahead is the living room and then there's a long hallway that leads you to the bedrooms um and when you go down the long hallway, it's my brother's room. Because we had a four bedroom house. It was my brother's room and my parents' room to the right. And then this spare bedroom and my bedroom to the left. My bedroom, I guess you could say technically it was all the way in the back to the left. Um, so I think I ended up going to my room. Then I ended up coming out my room. When I came out my room, um, Uncle Screw was right there. And 
we ended up going into the spare bedroom. So he, we were sitting on the bed. He laid me down. He kissed me. And I know YouTube has certain things or whatever. Did, um, did sexual intercourse take place? No, it did not. Um, but his fingers went somewhere and I will just leave it at that. Um, the front door, not the back door. I think that's a safer way of saying that. And then, um, my brother, I'll call him. What I'll just say this. One of my brothers busted in the room. Not, I don't think because he just knew like I got to save my sister or whatever. It had nothing to do with that. He just busted in the room because solely due to the fact that he was being nosy and being silly and stupid or whatever. It had nothing to do with saving me in any type of way. But I'm kind of glad he did. We both jumped up and hopped up. And then he was like, well, come back in, come back in here later or whatever. So I was like, okay. And then I think I ended up walking back into the living room and I sat down and then I see him washing off his hands in the kitchen in the kitchen sink. And I think he got himself some more liquor. And I went back in the room and um I was just like, Dad, do I go into the spare bedroom or not? What what do I do? You know what I'm saying? I was debating, contemplating, should I go back in there? Shouldn't I? Is something really bad going to happen to me? Is he going to rough me up or whatever? Like, I don't know. So what I ended up doing, um, I left. I I knew he wasn't, I was hoping and praying, but and, and to an extent, I knew. I was like, yeah, he ain't going to do nothing to my brothers, which he didn't, not at all. Um, so the way the windows open, I'm trying to think how they opened. It was like a metal lever, like folded up. You fold it, you unfold it and you push it forward. And it's like slates, glass slates or whatever. But if you open and push them wide enough, and I was small. Even as a preteen, I was small. Um, you wouldn't know that now. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just like, dang, what do I do? I was just like, I can't go back in there. You know? So I slid my little A crooked letter, crooked letter, um, to out the window and to a neighbor's house. Now, one of the neighbors, this... Um, I'm going to say clear family. I didn't get much help from them at all. I was just like, I can't remember what I asked them. I think I may have asked, can I use their phone or something like that? And the clear lady said no and shut the door in my face. So I was like, in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to say it. But yeah, if you can read lips, you know what I said. <laughs> So um, then I went to another neighbor's home. I'm going to call them the UK family because they were from the UK um, originally. Um, it was more so a blended family, but I'll just call them the UK family. But anyway, so I knocked on the door. And at that point, I'm like, all right, I can't keep knocking on door to door to door to, on everybody's door and everybody know my business or whatever. So I knocked on UK family's door and, you know, the lady, I can't remember the mom's name, but oh my gosh, she was so sweet, sweet as pie, love her to death. Um, and she was just like, well, hello, you know, kind of looking, I think she looked a little confused because it was late, it was dark outside. And I'm like, honestly, preteen or not, I'm still a kid, for real, for real, adolescent, whatever you want to call it. So... I was just like, I, I broke down at that point. I was just like, oh, no, I was like, 
I, I was like, um, such and such, somebody, I spilled the beans. I did. I said it all. I, uh, I sang like a songbird. <laughs> um, and I broke down. I, I don't think, I, I didn't go into great detail, but I know for a fact I stated that Uncle Screw touched me. Um, even though she didn't know him, I didn't say his name at all. But I was just like, somebody touched me, whatever. Like, I need to get in touch with my parents. I didn't know my mom's phone number. But being said that I knew UK's family, the, the head of the household, the man of the house, he he was in the Navy like my dad was. So, and the neighbor, the clear lady who shut the door in my face, um, she was in the Navy. I think her and her husband was in the Navy. But anyway, so... Um, Oh, what happened? So then somehow UK family, the 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 lady of the house, I'll just say UK mama, UK mama um, went next door, I believe, and got the phone number to wherever my dad worked. They got my dad. They found him. They told my dad what happened. And from what I was told... My dad was furious. Um, of course, he wanted to know where he was, but they were like, hey, you're here. I mean, she's here with us or so whatever. UK family. UK family was like, yo, she's here with us. She's safe. Nothing's going to happen to her. We're going to bathe her, feed her, clothe her, whatever. Mind you, I was literally right across the street from my house. So it's not like I went far. Um, there's no way I would have gotten caught. If I wanted to leave and walk very, very far, I would have gotten caught. I could promise you that. And then on top of that is Gator Town down there. What do I look like walking around in the streets and something just hang, just take me out. Um, so, yeah. And that's a whole nother story, too. Never got bit by one of those gators or crocs. But it's a funny kid story. But I'll tell that later. Um but yeah, so I told um, the UK family, the lady of the house, UK mama told my dad um, at some point, I know my mom find out, found out, I don't know if she found out when she got home from work or not, but they knew where I was. So of course I get a good night's sleep. I eat, you know, they feed me breakfast and everything like that. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I want to go home. Um, and I was told that my bro I think my brother said that I, I can't remember why I went across the street. I, I bet I, I didn't want to go home. And then my parents ordered pizza and I was like, oh my God, I want, and, and it was weird. I was in the dining room and I, I didn't sit in the chair. I don't know what made me do this. I sat on the floor in the dining room area to eat pizza and I wanted to be in my house because it's my house you know um I'm going to eat pizza with my brothers and all of that and my dad was in the back talking to um talking to Uncle Screw and my mom I don't know if she was in the room with my dad, while talking to Uncle Screw, maybe at some point she was, I'm not sure. Um, but I know she ended up coming out to the living room. She saw me. She said, get out. Kind of hurt my feelings, but I understood why. She was like, you don't need to be here when he's here. You know, um, of course, I could come back to the house once he leaves. And I actually saw him get in the car and leave at some point during the day. Um, he didn't look at me or anything, whatever. I was outside playing, but I wasn't in the front yard of my house. I was like across the street and I saw him get in his rental or whatever. And he drove off. I'm assuming he got a room or whatever on base because we were down the street from the main base. It was like an extension, so to speak, when it came to the base housing because the base housing on the big main base was full. It, uh, it stayed full, to be honest. But anyway, so came back. I went to the, at some point, I don't know if I went back in the house immediately after he left or not. 
but I know I went back to, to my house. So I went in the house and they called Buki. I'm Buki. Well, she's not my aunt. We are not, we don't share the same DNA at all whatsoever. So um, Buki, I spoke to her and she was like, what her D voice, what happened, Nicole, or whatever. Um, you saying that Buki, not Buki, Lord, I named her Buki. Lord, forgive me. Mm -hmm. You saying that Uncle Screw touched you or whatever. I was like, yes, he did. I don't know if I went into great detail, but I did state that he touched me. Yes, he did. And she was under the impression I was telling a lie to break them up. Why would I break them up? I don't want your husband. I was a kid. He looked old and crusty to me. Ew. I mean, I liked older boys and had crush on older boys, but not to me. He was like a grandpa. Like, ew, ew. Ew. Just ew. Just gross. Bad. Bad. <laughs> but yeah. Like, um, I would never. I was just like, I would never purposely try to break up anyone's family at all. At all. And if that's if that's what Uncle Screw told, then screw you, Uncle Screw. Um, but yeah. So I don't ever remember having a conversation with my parents after that. If we did, I honestly um I don't remember at all. So yeah. Sorry, I'm a little parched. I always have a case of having a dry mouth. But anyway, so <sighs> I don't remember discussing it or whatever. Um, and then fast forward years later. Hmm. In two, th no, no. I remember seeing them once we moved back to Virginia after Hurricane Andrew. Um, I think my dad wanted to go see them pay a visit or whatever. And in my in my head, I'm just like, yo, why the mm, would you want to go over there and see them? Don't you know this ninja touched me? Why would you still want to be cool with them? Him or her? Not saying that she participated, but she's still with this man? Not saying I wanted them to break up. I was hoping he got some help and everything, but he ended up impregnating Buki and Buki had another baby because they already had a girl. I'm just going to call her Sprinkles because I know a couple of people with her nickname and I don't want anybody getting confused. So Sprinkles clearly was the oldest and I believe they ended up having a son don't know the son's name don't know what he looked like when i saw him he was a newborn um we were in the city of we were in the city i'll say one of the seven cities and um so i actually had a cousin in this in the city that we were in and i was just like i want to go to cousin's house i, I don't want to be here I think my mom asked, did I want to leave or was I uncomfortable? I was like, yeah. I was like, let just drop, please drop me off, you know. Um, so she did. And I just chilled there. I was so relieved and happy. But in my head, I'm like, why the freak would y'all want to sit there with that ninja knowing what he did? I'm thinking, like, as I got older, I'm like, why didn't you knock this ninja out? Yo, my dad was in the room with Uncle School. Like, dude, son. Nowadays, most fathers, yo, that dude would have been dead. Off rip, like, off top. Dead or in ICU or disfigured, looking like the elephant man showing up in front of a judge because you touched somebody's child. But whatever. Um, I grew up in a different era and I'm not saying my parents let it slide because of course something was said to him. Um, but yeah, I, and then I was just like, why not court and everything like that? But I honestly don't think 
I would have been able to deal with a court case. Not at all. At least I don't think so. Um, so yeah. And I wish, I wish I could have, and I would love to do something about it now. Um, but I got a phone call and I wasn't living at home at the time. I was living with a little boyfriend, but not the same boyfriend, of course. I, I was well into adulthood. I was in my early 20s. I wasn't in my mid, early to mid 20s. And I remember receiving a phone call. And my mom was like, I don't know how you're going to feel about this or if you even care that Uncle Screw died. Part of my French. Karma's a whole bitch. I'm sorry. For anyone that goes to my church that ever sees this video, karma's a whole bitch. Part of my French. I'm not there yet 100%. And I didn't feel a way. I, I wanted some of the sayings that I know now, if I knew then, I probably would have been, look, been like, look at God. Hallelujah. Yes. Or whatever. You're like, he's an on time God. Oh, yes, he is. On time God. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I know what's wrong. I shouldn't be celebrating the passing of anyone. And yes, death is an unfortunate thing. Regardless of the circumstances, I don't know how Uncle Screw died have no absolute idea. I'm still curious to this day, but to a point, I, I don't care. Um, I do, I, yeah, I don't care. He's gone. And I don't wish anything bad on anyone, but one thing I have learned, karma all, yo, you reap what you sow. That chick karma is alive and well, and she serves her dishes best cold. I'm a firm believer in karma. It always makes its way back around full circle. Um, and then I told my boyfriend at the time, I was like, I think I had already told him the story. And I was like, yo, I was like, my molester is dead. I didn't shed any tears or whatever. I was just like, hmm. Okay, mommy. I, I really didn't know how to take it. I was to an extent numb about it. Never forgot about the situation. I was over it. I kind of feel a little awkward speaking about it because I don't speak about it. And I never, ever went into great detail about it with anybody with the exception of one person. Um... And that that's it, if I'm not mistaken. But I remember seeing Buki, I would say twice. Um, when an uncle of mine passed away and when my maternal grandfather passed away, she came to the funeral and I don't think she recognized me at my uncle's funeral. I recognized her. I think she may have looked at me. I'm not sure, but she didn't recognize me. My hair was short. Not this short, but short. Um, and then at my grandpa's funeral, I think um, actually Buki and Sprinkles were there. And... I was kind of excited to see Sprinkles because I was like, I wonder how does she look and everything like that, yada, yada, yada. Um, I wanted to reach out to her on social media, but I was just like, I don't know if it's something that I would share, if it's something that I should even share with her um, and say, hey, your daddy did this. Like, I would never just, I'm not really the most tactful person, but I would definitely warm up to the, you know, have a few conversations and then say something. 
Um, but and I've always wanted to have a conversation with Buki because my story I never went into great detail, but I remember it perfectly, maybe with the exception of maybe like the time frame or whatever have you made. Um, but I do remember what happened to me. And regardless, it's not something that I liked. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it at all. And I wish to God it never happened, but it did. And yeah, I, I when I saw her at <laughs> my grandpa's funeral in my head, I'm like, why are you even here? Because from what I was told, my mama didn't speak to her. I don't know if my father spoke to her or not, but she came up to me. She was like, you remember me? I was like, I know who you are, Buki. I remember you. And then I looked at Sprinkles. I'm like, hey, Sprinkles. I was like, my, you're grown. I mean, of course. And last time I saw her, I don't even know how old she was, but she was very, very young. But um, I think maybe she might have been 10. Literally the last 10. I don't think we're that far apart in age, but she, she was young. She wasn't in high school or whatever, or anything like that. Maybe middle school. Somewhere between fifth and eighth grade. I know that. But anyway. And um, I'll say who was with me. What name shall I give this person? Oh, I don't want to be shady because y'all going to hear some stories about this person. No shade. No, I don't throw shade. I throw trees. And the stories about this person is... Mm. Um, hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to call him Tree. So Tree was with me. Um, was walking with me. I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get out of here. Because I didn't take the passing of my maternal grandfather too well. I didn't take the passing of my paternal grandfather too well. Um, this affected me more. Because I was more so closer and around. I love them both just as much. But, you know, living... In, they, they, My maternal grandfather was closest in area distance-wise and all of that. So, of course, I saw him more. I didn't take it that well at all. I just wanted to get just the hugging in condolences. And I was just like, ah, like I'm ready to go. Um, I actually went out of town to, I'll say Chocolate City. Because it's an area that used to be referred to as Chocolate City. So um, as me and Tree were leaving, that's when I ran into Buki and Sprinkles. And I felt Tree kind of yanking on my arm. I think he kind of sensed I wanted to say something because I wanted to ask I already knew but I was going to be a, I was going to be real petty and spiteful I was going to be a petty betty and I wanted to ask like hey um what happened where's uncle screw where is he at but <laughs> sorry for the ugly face but yeah but ended up leaving and I think I said goodbye to my grandpa's sister. I don't even think she remembered me. And soon thereafter, she passed and a great aunt of mine passed. It was too much. In less than six months, three people passed. Like, I couldn't do it. I didn't even make it to my other two aunts' funerals mentally and emotionally. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it at all. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's it when it comes to that story um i may do another story um when it comes to the passing of my grandpa but not right now i i, I can't do it if my eyes get watery just thinking about it i just i just can't um i ain't ready for that but oh, oof, it actually felt kind of good to get that out um and I said that, I, I mean, I told the story to say this. Kids have a hard time processing stuff. 
and even when you're over stuff it kind of messes with you as you get older if you don't seek any help in regards to that something like that some people are perfectly fine um me i think for the most part as far as that is concerned i'm okay but i never sought out for therapy for that um and maybe one day one day i cannot talk one day <laughs> i will um hey times are tough i got bills to pay don't nobody pay a bit in bills at my place of residence but me so setting it aside for therapy very much needed but therapy ain't cheap either um but yeah aside from that um one thing oh yeah 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 one thing i can't remember what made me bring this up to my mom but i remember asking her i don't know what the topic at hand was but i i do remember asking her a few years ago um i was like did you think i was telling the truth she was like girl i knew you weren't lying i knew you weren't lying about that of course i believed you you know and to this day she doesn't speak to buki her and buki at one point were literally like this doesn't speak to her so to my mama thank you for being a ride or die and believing me so yeah um so that is it that is all it is time for me to cook some dinner i am starving um i really don't feel like cooking either Ugh. Honestly, I, I really don't like ramen noodles, like, at all. But it may be a ramen noodles night. I was going to make spaghetti, but I'm too lazy. I'm lazy, lazy, lazy. And it's just me. So, yeah. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching. Again, like, share, subscribe. I am going to be as consistent as i possibly can i have tons and tons of stories man let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you i was going to do a story time and have a specific title and have a part one part two part three part four so on and so forth but i'm not going to do that i'd rather mix up the time frames so that you can't pinpoint and a good majority of the stories that i tell about myself or um <laughs> mm, I think it's time for me to go to bed too. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. But yeah. So tons of stories to look forward to. Um and it's just me telling my story. Clearly. Um mm, let's see what else. I, I think that is literally about it. I'm about to shut it down. Upload this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. So, to all, have a blessed one. Smooches, smooches. And I'm going to shut it down and... Five, four, three, two, one. Bye. <laughs>